All right, picking up where our last video left off, we built an if statement out here telling Excel that if it had an error here to say, oops, if there wasn't an error, it would return the tax rate. So if I go here and I take out the asterisk and it returns an error, sure enough, we're trapped for that. And over here, it says, oops. So we're going to put all that together by making an if statement here that traps for the air and gives us what we want. So up here, the current VLOOKUP formula we have is this. One thing wrong with this, I need to make, I need to anchor this range. You may already have that anchored in your spreadsheet. I anchor it so that when I copy it, I'm going to be copying it down here. That range of data does not move as I copy the formula. In an if statement, there are three parts. I'm going to need three of these VLOOKUP uh, functions as we've written it. So I'm going to click and drag across this VLOOKUP and I'm going to hit Control C to copy that into memory because I'm going to use it two more times in this formula. And I'm going to start it back here like we did in this cell. I'm going to start just after the equal sign but before the V. I'm going to type if left paren is error left paren Okay, so what we're telling Excel, if there is an error, when you go to look up this value, the tax rate for this cell, which is currently Bakersfield, then we want it to do some other things. So this VLOOKUP formula, that parenthesis is, is some color. You can't tell, it looks like purple. So I'm going to close the is error part of this formula because back here we said is error VLOOKUP there's the VLOOKUP and it turned red that second parenthesis red because that ends the red parenthesis here which is the is error function so now I'm going to tell uh, tell Excel what to do when in fact it finds an error in this cell. I'm going to type a comma. You'll notice Excel is now asking me if there's an error, if that's true, what do we want in this cell? Well, we know when there's an error, Excel just needs to put an asterisk on the end of whatever city is being looked up here. So we're going to do another VLOOKUP, but this time add an asterisk to the city. So I'm going to press Control V right now. It added that back in up here, another VLOOKUP for us. This time though, we want it to look up whatever city is in this cell, but have an asterisk on the end. And the way we put an asterisk on the end is we use the ampersand, so I'm typing the ampersand right there. In quotes, I'm going to put an asterisk. Asterisk, double quote. So what I'm telling Excel is if there's an error, I want you to look up that value again, but this time take that value and put an asterisk on the end of it. Go to the same table, bring me back the data from the second column just as before. But if there's an error, I want you to do it with an asterisk on that location. Okay, so that's 
That's what to do if there's an error. So I'm going to come out here to the end. What Excel wants next, I'm going to hit comma. What if there is not an error? What if this first part of the formula, this VLOOKUP here, returned a rate with no problem? Well, we're going to tell Excel, go ahead and give me that lookup then. So I'm going to paste the VLOOKUP from the front end. And it's basically not going to change because this VLOOKUP worked. If there's no error, then we want it to return this. So we can close this finally. The final paren, you see that's black, matches the black that's in front of the if statement. We've given it our three parts. I think we're ready. So if I hit enter, wow. We've got the tax rate, but Bakersfield does not have an asterisk behind it. What if we put an asterisk there? Would it still work? Hopefully, if we built our formula right. Sure enough, it still returns us the rate. Take the asterisk off. Before, we would get an error. We don't get an error. We get the rate. So that's a pretty massive if statement. We'll go to fill out this table the rest of the way in the next video.